Hey everyone, it's ADS Diecast here with another video. Today we're going to be looking at a bunch of Matchbox Premium cars. Should be a pretty cool video ahead of us today. And let's just get right into it. Um, yeah, I guess hmm, we'll just start with these. Why not get them out of the way? Um, we can start right off the bat with this Superhero Collection. I don't know anything about them. Um, they came out in 2014, so a little while ago, nothing too crazy. Um, this is a, what is this even? Uh, Sprinter? Renault Master Ambulance. Stuff. Yes. Uh, interesting casting. Um, yeah, I wish I knew more of this series. It's a premium line, obviously, of uh, Matchbox. The others in that series. But pretty cool. Um, let's rip it open. Oof. Yeah, that uh, that uh, glue there was not holding on. It was just ready to be ripped open. Um, yeah, well, I'm curious to know if you know any other information about that series. I'd like to know more. Actually, interesting. It's a plastic body. Ooh, that's kind of an interesting choice for a premium line. Um, but you do get full details, front, sides, rear, not too bad. Um, cool choice for wheels though, I don't mind them. Actually, put this thing down so you can see it a little better. Zoom in a little bit. That one's all right, not bad. Um, we'll open this Lotus Europa. I actually just opened my last video. This main line blue one. That's very nice. I love that blue. Um, but this one is a Lesney model in a purple and yellow 72 Lotus Europa Lesney series. What is the Lesney year? 2010. This is a very nice series. Um, yeah, Lesney is an interesting one. Um, I don't know a whole heck of a lot about these either. But from what I do know, they are all uh, metal base. So if you, uh, anytime I see a Lesney model, I will grab it, even if I already have it. Unfortunately, this is my only one. This is my very, very, very first Lesney edition model. So I'm very stoked to add it to the collection because they don't show up too often. Um, Metal base, wow. I know it doesn't sound like that big of a deal, but it's just kind of nice, you know? Coming from Matchbox, it's not something they normally do. Full details. And... Hmm. That, uh, oh, it has a case. The chrome's still there. Over in the main line. It's just a solid model. That's fantastic. I love that. I even love the choice of wheels. They look great on this. And there's that one. Next we will look at, if we're looking at commercial type vehicles, we'll look at this Dennis Sabre from the Superfast. Strange looking model. Uh, 15,500 made. Superfast series. Pretty cool. Uh, 2004 cover age. Wow. I didn't know that this thing was that old. Jeez. Quite old. Even the box. Even the box that the Super Fast comes in is, is completely different than the Super Fast. Interesting. Did not know that. And then we have the Saber Super Fast. Don't care about the wheels. Oh, I just realized it has elastic on it. That's no. Can't have that. Wow, do these wheels ever roll though? It's like soup, uh, it's like uh, faster than ever wheels. So we do this thing here. It doesn't do anything really other than go up and down. Um, plastic base, chrome, uh, nothing on the back. Other than it just says Dennis and white in the front. 
Nice to see chrome detail though. Bought me some fire trucks. Can't, you can't go wrong with that. That's not too bad. All right, moving on, moving on. Uh, I think these are some of the least interesting. Uh, we have this mangled card from 19. This is 98 MGF 1.8i notable. Coke. Don't really care much for Coke, but again, these are cheap, 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 cheap. 2002 copy of the all the other cars there. Um, yeah, I think it'd be two bucks. So for a premium matchbox, pay two bucks for whatever. I'll pay for it. It's kind of neat. Comes in a package like that. Um, see if we can get this thing open without ripping it all apart and mangling it. Throw all that stuff away. Let's see. I have to cut it open. Seems ridiculous. They got these, which are quite cool. They clip together. And then we have this thing. A lot of weight to it, actually. I'm quite impressed. Metal and metal construction. Uh, I don't think it has a suspension. Ice code. A little bit of detail on the back. Uh, not much on the front, but a little bit. Got a bland, kind of a goofy looking model, but um, meh, cheap, premium, matchbox, in the collection. And we'll look at one more from the series. Uh, this is, says 95, 1995 Volkswagen Concept 1 convertible. Um, 2001 copyright date. In white. Mangled card, who cares. To rip everything open. That's part of the rules of my collection. If it can't be ripped open, it must, 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 must dry. I've cut this one open as well. Should be the only other one I had to cut open. I just don't want to cut myself. Oof. Okay. Ooh, metal base. Nice to see that. No suspension. I like that they put a little detail on there. No, it doesn't really matter too much. A little bit on the back, a little bit on the front. Uh, the headlights are part of the windshield. They actually painted around the windshield, which is nice. I like to see that detail. They stopped doing that in the later models, which is unfortunate. Great roller though. Usually these big wheels don't roll that well because they rub, but that is another Volkswagen to the collection. Boom. All right, some more interesting stuff here. Let's look at this 69 Camaro convertible 396 in green with the strange looking wheels. Uh, 15,000 made, super fast. A little bit older, uh, 2004 copyright date. Throw that away, throw that away. This little box. Put that away for now. And we have this strange casting of a Camaro. Uh, ugly wheels, don't care for the wheels from the series, but still pretty cool. Uh, it's an interesting casting. Uh, 96 is the copper date, so this is an old tooling. It's just big and bulky and awkward because you compare it to Lotus. It's, it's freaking huge. <laughs> Um, it's like a monster truck, but again, cheap, super fast. Can't say no. Can't say no. All right, so moving on. We have the super fast Mercedes A Class. This is a great example of this casting in all black. Uh, 15,500 made. 2004 again, the copper date. Same sort of box, super fast. Yeah, this one's a great one. 
classic gray 2000s Mercedes with the uh, the paint around the windows, which is a nice little touch, and, and the handles and everything, that's a good touch. Um, nice to see a metal base, that's always good. A class in the back, very cool. Yeah, all the right details, can't argue with it. Full detail. Nice example of this casting for sure. Uh, the wheels are a little awkward, not my favorite. That one is still very cool. Um, next, we'll look at this Ford Focus. Don't have this casting in my clutch, so I'll be very happy to have this one. Uh, 15,000 made. Super fast again. 2004 again. Another really big casting. Uh, no suspension. Yeah, I've never got this casting before, so. Pretty limited with the details on the front, not a whole heck of a lot, and not a whole heck of a lot on the back either, but that's all right. A uh, little bit of detail there on that side pillar. That's pretty much it, not a whole heck of a lot going on. Pretty minimal interior as well. This must have come out right around, yeah, 99. Uh, strange color too. Can't say it was my favorite, but I mean, Cheap, super fast, right? Uh, two more to look at, and that'll be it. We have the 76 Corvette from the Streaker series. This one's a cool series for sure. Uh, I don't know anything about them, but I know that they don't come up very often because I hardly ever see them. Uh, definitely older, 2006 copper date. Streakers. Very happy. Welcome to see that suspension. Yee. Wow, that interior is awful. Uh, wacky stripes and stuff. Um, plastic base. This is definitely old tooling. 79. So very, very old tooling. So I'll forgive the interior because it's old. A little bit of detail in the back. Pretty limited. Not much on the front, just the top. Um, I love the old cars. The suspension starts to cave out on these old Matchbox just over time, right? So it just kind of leans. <laughs> um, yeah, that one's okay. Not too bad. Um, and the last one we're looking at is this Aston Martin DBS Volante uh, for the 60th set. Beautiful blue color. This one's honestly probably my favorite other than the Lotus. Uh, 2012 copper AT. I love Aston Martins, so this is a very, 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 very exciting one to add to my collection. Yeah. Oof. Man, that's a shame. That paint is. The paint has seen better days. Ah, maybe they're all like this? This is the first one I've ever found. So maybe I'll be able to find another one. Man, that paint is rough. Paint around the, uh, the window here, which is nice. You do get painted details in the back, painted details in the front. A uh, little bit of detail there with the 60th logo. Um, man, that's a real shame. But that paint is gorgeous. Oh, okay, I was having trouble focusing. That paint is gorgeous, though. Hopefully I can find another one with better paint, but I'm still all right with it. Um, but that's pretty much it, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. There's a bunch of premium stuff. I have tons more to come. And yeah, that's it. And stay tuned for more.